Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs, and my brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVs. RVS. For sale today, we have a 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS with 87,487 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976. All these RVs go through the same inspection process. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. <clears throat> Answer any questions you may have. Make sure you're comfortable with your new rig. We've got about 74 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach, about 65 inches here at the rear AC. This AC runs off of your shore power plug-in or your generator. That's controlled via the controls right on the unit itself. Got a fantastic fan overhead in the center here. This runs off of the coach battery. You can use this as an exhaust fan for your bathroom in here. You can also use this like an attic fan if you open up the windows. Turn this on, it will bring in the cool outside air and cool you off. Got a mix of hard surface vinyl sheet flooring and carpet. This looks like we got a little stain there. I'll have the guys hit that again, see if that will come out. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a stash spot there in the door. That is a speaker grill. We've got a window that opens. We do not have a screen on that. However, we do have a privacy curtain that can go all the way around this track. So you can pull the curtain all the way around the track here in the front and block off all of these windows. Little storage shelf. Got your levels test here for your gray and black tank, your fresh water tank and your coach battery. Water pump on off switch that will turn on the water pump to pump the water out of your onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, toilet. Got the Onan start stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator that has 37 hours. Fresh oil change, fresh service by our certified Onan techs. Water heater on off switch. This lights itself. An noxious gas detector. Stepping into the kitchen area now. Aluminum backsplash. Two burner propane cooktop. And a window that opens with a screen on the lower portion. A little spice rack, spot for your paper towels, single basin sink, got a 110 plug in here. That's your water pump. This is a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. So three-way meaning AC, which is your shore power plug-in or the generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. There are directions on the bottom of the box to help the user in case you need help with that when you're out on your camping adventure. Propane furnace. This gets the heat by burning propane. The fan is run by uh, 12 volt electricity, so your coach battery. Got some power connections there. Won't get in that bin too much. your fuse panel, another noxious gas detector, 110 plug-in. Bring you up here and check out some of the storage around the bed in the rear. Got your manuals there. Got a fire escape window on this side, so not really meant to be used for airflow. Right, we've got curtains. This window does open on the lower portion, has a screen. 
We've got two belts in the rear, so a total of four belts in this unit. So we got a power sofa in the rear here. What you're gonna do is push a button, run this sofa down. It's gonna make two twin sleepers. That is very popular. Makes it easy to get up at night without crawling over one another. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches long and 26 inches wide on the driver's side and just a little shorter at about 70 inches long on the passenger side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 to 72 inches front to back and 80 inches side to side. This bed is designed for two, but could sleep three people if desired. Here we are sitting in the rear of the RV. What group of people never get angry? Nomads. Turns out they move on easily. Got the TV here that swivels out to face the front. Both of the front seats do have swivel mechanisms. However, the passenger seat will get a lot better position due to the driver's seat having the steering wheel and the cabinet behind it. Back here behind the TV, we've got an inverter. It's this little red thing here that inverts the DC coach battery power to AC so you can watch your TV from the coach batteries. A little stash spot in there. This is opened by opening this and lifting the gold pin there on the left. Get your TV remote in there. got the switch here that runs the power sofa up and down this is to turn this power on or off for your tv setup here so you got a bit of a master switch here that you can just flip that off when you're not watching the tv turn that on when you like that got your thermostat here that controls the propane furnace this is where the vcr would have been or the, the dvd player or whatever was with this when it was new there's now a built-in dvd player on the tv it's got a little storage spot there coffee maker I'm going to step into the restroom here, but first I'm going to show you, it does look like there's been some nicks on this door and somebody has tried to repaint some of that. So you can see there's some discolorations and kind of a little bit of a sheen you can see in the right light where that has been painted a little bit up to uh, just touch that up. That was not done by us. Stepping into the bathroom here, got a window that opens, got a, a screen on the lower portion. Medicine cabinet, got a 110 plug in there for your goodies like your hair dryer, so on and so forth. Get your shower head here. So basically you're gonna get inside of this room, pull this curtain around you and you're gonna do all your business inside of this wet bath style um, unit here for your bathroom. Got a towel bar. The flush is on the back side of the stool. Minimal step to get up and in. Everything's going to drain right to the floor. Got three drawers. Spot here for some more goodies. Soaps, toilet paper, things like that. This is a very nice bathroom style for camper vans. Very preferred by many people. Got a closet here where you can hang up some of your goodies. Got a table here, table leg. This is the board to make up the big bed in the back if you'd like to do so. microwave that runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. There's also a few dings here and there, just little discolorations on some of the trim pieces, just general use from being an O2. Uh, that stain there, let's we'll see if they can get that out. Everything's good looking overall, just a little bit of just age. Nothing glaring that's going to affect the amount of fun that you could have in this unit. It's gone through a full inspection process, but due to some of the cosmetic boo-boos like this door, some of the stripes on the outside, a little ding on the driver's door, things like that, I'm going to go ahead and call this an 8 out of 10. Could call it an 8.5, depending on how you want to rate it for those cosmetic flaws. But again, nice pleasure way, nice floor plan, ready to hit the highway. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Wanted to give you a better idea of some of the little cabinet dings, just a little stuff like that on some of the doors, chipping, just some wear on the trim here. Small stuff that you don't notice when you're using the RV. Again, nothing that affects the usability, but just cosmetically stuff that is there. Up here in the cabin, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD, and cassette player. 
not noticing any burns, stains, funny smells. The cigarette lighter is gone. So while it's tough to say for sure, I am gonna call this one a non-smoker. I've also got a smaller circular table behind the driver's seat here. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2002 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. Has four brand new tires. This Pleasure Way is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 87,487 miles. Got a nice looking exterior on this one. We do have some boo-boos and fading on the stripes throughout. Uh, like so, you see here and there. A little more serious one there. Some fading on the decals. Still pretty good shine on the paint though. Got your porch light, back of the refrigerator, coach battery, the furnace exhaust. Got actual alloy rims on this one. Got two 110 plug-ins so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got a storage bay here. These are leveling chocks. You can put these under the tires if you have a low spot to help level the RV. Around the back, we got your AC up top. Some storage in here behind the couch. Got your awning crank rod. The coach battery disconnect is right here. If you can pull the key out, that means it's disconnected. If you uh, cannot pull the key out, that means it's connected. If you disconnect that, it prevents parasitic draw on your coach batteries. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are the short power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. This protector here on the bumper is a little gummed up. Got a Reese hitch. Got your fresh water fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Back of the water heater. Got a storage bay here. It's your shore power cord and some other goodies. Sewer hose storage. Those don't often get used as it's a little bit difficult to put the sewer hose back into that tube. That's what that's designed for. Got the outside shower. Nice to wash your shoes off at the beach, kids, pets, things like that. Got your uh, sewer hose coming out here where you're going to be able to dump your sewer tanks, which are your black, so your toilet, your gray, your sink and shower. Pull the black first, then the gray. Everything's going to come out of this tube. Got a coax in to run in a TV coax. Your city water in, so run your hose in here. Shore power connection. That's your propane tank. Got a gauge on that. Got a valve here. That's where they fill it. Got your Onan 2800 generator there. Fresh service, fresh oil change. Fill for the fuel tank. That runs the engine and the generator. Got a ding on the door here. It's another small ding there. Get you a little bit closer up on the stripes here so you can see some of the way this unit looks. Stuff you'd expect in a 2002, some fading stripe decal issues, but all in all, a nice pleasure way with some good shine on it. Thank you.